Trailing 10-5 in the fourth, it was the special teams who saved the day. Adrian Claiborne blocks the punt, then he scoops it and he is gone. 54 yards, two-point conversion is no good, but Iowa now leads 11-10 and the momentum has clearly shifted. You know, we haven't blocked many punts. Uh, it has been uh, it's that five years since we've blocked the punt. You know, it's just a phenomenal effort. I've never seen a play like that by a, by a big guy like that. And, uh, you know, it gave us a spark. And then, you know, a guy like AC, Adrian Claiborne, who comes up with a play like that, um, being a defensive end, you don't know, usually see defensive ends block punts, then pick them up and score touchdowns. So, I mean, you know, that's just, it, it was an incredible effort by our defense and special teams. Ensuing Penn State possession, here comes the D. They were dominant all game long. Pat Anger picks off Daryl Clark. One of four turnovers forced by the Hawkeyes. Anger brings it all the way back to the Nittany Lion 24 yard line. Fortunately, the ball tipped, uh, you know, tipped right into my hands, and you know, I got a little scared running around trying to find <laughs> someone to hit. And uh, thought I was going to run over that guy, but I think he knocked me out. So. <laughs> and the offense would capitalize. Adam Robinson, tough. Tough running, 13-yard touchdown, and it's now 18-10 Iowa. The defense would need to come up big one more time, and boy, did they ever. Clark hurried in the pocket, tipped by Carl Klug, and right into the hands of A.J. Eads. They'd tack on three more, and Iowa makes a statement, stunning number five Penn State, 21-10. I thought the effort uh, that our guys played with the determination uh, was re really outstanding. And uh, you know, the, the team really proved to be a very resilient bunch tonight because uh, there was nothing easy about anything that happened out there. No one gave you much of a chance coming into this game. National media, no one. Does it feel like you guys made a statement tonight at all? Uh, most definitely. You know, we, we love being a, the underdog because it, it gives us that, that edge, that, you know, that chip on our shoulder, and it, it's actually a motivation factor. So, so that aspect of the game, I think, really, we used to our advantage, and it, it worked well for us. What a wild finish. For the seventh time in the last eight meetings, Iowa beats Penn State, and this win marks the first time in the Kirk Ferentz era that Iowa beats a top-five team on the road. From a very quiet Beaver Stadium, John Sears, TV9 Sports.